Greetings, young archaeologists, and welcome to something of a bonus video. Earlier this year, we talked about prehistoric pottery, the different types and what they're used for. We even had a go at making our own pottery. Do you remember? Splendid job there, Timmy. Well done. Anyway, something we didn't have time to talk about in the last film was how archaeologists reconstruct the pottery that they find on excavations. This is something you can try at home. Take it away. For this exercise, you will require a bag of bird seed, a box to put the bird seed in, some masking tape, and also some broken pottery. Perhaps go to a local charity shop, buy some odds and ends, and then carefully break up this pottery in a box or a bag. Now this exercise isn't particularly dangerous, but it's worthwhile noting, look after your fingers at all times. If some pottery looks quite sharp, be careful with it. So let's dive in. Pick some pottery to reconstruct, and just like a jigsaw puzzle, figure out how the pieces go together. Two pieces at first will do. Use the seed in the box to lay the pieces together properly. Next, take a piece of masking tape and stick the two fragments of pottery or sherds together. In this case, it's probably best that I add a second piece of masking tape. Where possible, reinforce the join by adding masking tape on the other side. Take your time and think about each addition to the puzzle carefully. You may find yourself working upwards on something like a teacup or a mug, but the principles remain the same. Be careful, be patient, and use the seeds and masking tape to help you bring this three-dimensional puzzle together. This is pretty much how archaeologists reconstruct pottery that they find in archaeological sites. The process may be a bit more delicate and careful, but it's basically the same sort of three-dimensional puzzle. In archaeological pots, however, there are sometimes pieces missing. Here, the archaeologist may fill in the gaps using a very different material, so it's clear what's original and what's been added. While this helps to stabilise pottery, for example in a museum display, crucially it helps us to understand the original structure, what it might have been used for, and therefore how people lived in the past. And that is the whole point of archaeology. If you would like to know more about the Young Archaeologists Club at Newcastle University, check out this link, also available in the video description below.